All right, everybody, we're going to be changing the uh, side mirror here on the 2015 Dodge Charger. Um, as you can see, the back's off and the glass is missing. Um, don't mind the car, it needs to clean real bad. But the first step is putting down the uh, window here. And then we got to take this interior door panel off and then we can get access to the bolts back here. The next step is taking off a clip here. You got to press in this center piece and then I'll pop out. And then we got a screw back here. And then we have a piece we'll have to take off there. There's a screw behind there. And then there's also a piece down here we'll have to take off and take the screw out of there. So this first part, I got the clip out. Just press the center part in and then it popped out. I did use a screwdriver with a microfiber towel. I did get that piece out from back there. I tried using picks, but they didn't really work. <clears throat> I ended up using this really small flathead. I was just extra careful so I wasn't scratching up this piece here. For this screw, I did bring this out so I can get the screwdriver in there without having to hit this part here. I didn't really feel comfortable having that screwdriver like that and try not to hit this so I just opened this up and then got it out so as you can see I um, got that piece out I did get it out um, I tried here but it just wasn't pulling up and you can kind of see it was digging into the plastic there this sits down like this so no one will ever see that piece there but um, I actually put the screwdriver here which is this part right here and it worked pretty good um, other than that, it comes out pretty easy, and then you got that screw that I already took out right there. What I did now, um, I kind of popped the bottom of the panel away here. Um, there's some clips that go in there. You just have to pull straight back on it. Um, I just started on one end, went along the bottom, and then ended at this other end here. And as you can see, it's pretty, pretty loose, so now I just have to lift it up and out. So I did get a lifted off. Um, you do have this little piece you can take out here. This is, uh, it just kind of slips off here. I do have it up on some boxes just to kind of help support it. I don't want to unclip all these wires here. So I'll just kind of support it there while I'm taking off the uh, mirror. But as you can see, you can see these little tabs that go into those holes there. And that's what you kind of pull away on the bottom part of the panel. So I think the next part is to pull this plastic piece off so we can get to the bolts for the mirror and then I'll worry about unplugging it. But I think this just kind of slips off here and you could probably take it all the way off but I think I'm just going to get access here and just leave it on and then uh, put the new one on and put this back over it. So These nuts are 8 millimeters. Um, there's three of them then you got this little clip there. Uh, I am using a screwdriver with a socket on it. Um, you can use a ratchet and a socket too, but I just like this guy. It's kind of easy to get in there and everything. So I got those bolts off. I went ahead and just wanted to unplug it before I got it all the way off. And as you can see, there's two clips here. They're the bottom two. Um, my mirror is, or was, a heated mirror and then also is motorized where it could like go down when I put it in reverse and everything so it was had the memory function on it um, <clears throat> I think that's what these two are some of them don't have the memory function some of them aren't heated so uh, yeah just make sure you get the right um, mirror for your application because they do have different connectors uh, the next step is just to kind of push that in and then take the mirror out so here's the new mirror. Um, the kind I got was like TRQ, I think is what it's called. And they had it packaged up pretty nice. So this is the cover for the mirror, just the outside. Um, I'll probably get it painted. My other one got pretty messed up. And then they have this one in like a cloth bag, which is really nice. <clears throat> So here's the new one. 
as you can see looks pretty much stock it's got the heated function and it's got the black and the white cables so um, I really like that company they seem like they're pretty good high quality parts a uh, little tip if you order from them the TRQ company the box that they send it in is actually the correct height to kind of hold your panel in place so you don't have to unhook it um, <clears throat> it is kind of a pain to keep it there and work around in the back so it'd probably be easier if you unclip everything and then pull it all the way off but this works pretty nice too um, this is the old one so yeah just those three bolts and then that one piece unclipped and you got those two so if you made it this far you've pretty much done the hardest part now it's just in the reverse order another reason why I like these guys they got covers on the screws so they won't get banged up or dig into your housing so you just take those off and then you got the screws right there kind of nice yep pretty high quality Here's a quick tip for you guys. Um, this weather stripping right along this edge here next to the mirror housing, uh, you do want to make sure it goes in. There's a little slot that this can slide into, and then I'll keep water out of your door. So I got the new mirror installed, got the bolts on, clipped it down. Um, if you got one like mine, the black one goes on top, white one goes on bottom. They just kind of clip in. Um, also, with those, they're kind of tricky because they have this little. Um, end on them so you have to get your screwdriver in push that towards the wires and then it unclips so it's a little tip for you also when you're running this wire you just got to be mindful of where your clips go so I think I'm gonna run this straight down and then it'll kind of go over towards the clips so there'll be enough room for this clip here and I think another one goes down in this hole here so if you kind of do that <clears throat> it'll be out of the way of everything if you get confused on where these screws went the longer one goes in this handle part the shorter one goes up here all right as you can see mirror is on door panel is all finished up and the window works good it's got the auto down it's got the auto up works good I did have a little bit of trouble with the window, the automatic up. Um, it'd go halfway and then it'd like come back down. So what I ended up figuring out was these bolts, I tightened down the nuts too tight. So it made this part in here a little bit too thin. So when the window was going up, it has a safety feature and it hits any resistance. It'll come back down so it doesn't like, you know, catch your hand in there or suffocate someone. So... Yeah, just be careful not to tighten these down too tight, but yeah, got the mirror all installed.